In this tutorial, you will learn how to create fake HDRI maps from Google Street View 360 degree panoramic images. You will be able to use them to light scenes in any software, which supports HDRI maps. Disclaimer. Images downloaded from Google Street View can be copyrighted. I am not taking any responsibility for your actions. You will need to download and install the free program Street View Download 360. It works for Windows, Linux and Mac OS and is completely free and secure. Simply download and install it. Next, go to the Google Maps service, drag a yellow pegment to the location of your choice. Copy the link from the web browser. Run the newly installed program and choose a directory on your computer to save files. Paste copied URL to the appropriate field. Click on the green button, download panorama and wait some time. In the background, software downloads 512 tiles and stitches them to a spherical panorama. Download completed. Downloaded panorama is a JPEG file over 16,000 pixels wide. It almost has no dynamic range, but we are going to fix it with a few simple steps. Go to the hdrlabs.com website and download a free program picture not. Install it on your computer. Sorry, it works only on Windows. From the same website download filter plugins. Unzip it. Go to the picture knots installation directory. Find plugins and HDR shop directory. Copy and paste all plugin files there. Run picture knot. The fake HDR plugin that we are going to use cannot operate on large and 8 bit files. Open panorama image in Photoshop. Convert image to 32 bits per channel and scale it down to 4096 on 2048 pixels. Save it under a new name and with an HDR or an EXR extension. Drag and drop a newly created file over picture not window. Go to filter, fake HDR. Lower minimum range and increase max value. Click OK and wait few seconds. Voila! Our fake HDR is ready. Go to the menu, file, and save it as an HDR file. Open the newly created file in Photoshop, and examine it with 32-bit exposure preview slider. Lower exposure preview and click on the foreground color to open a new window. Increase intensity to 10 or more stops, select some slightly yellow tint. with small brush paint over the sun position. If you want your HDRI to produce sharp shadows, just paint a smaller dot and use a harder brush. Save the file, but don't close it, as we are going now to test fake HDRI file in Blender. Go to the Shader Editor in World tab. With Node Wrangle add-on enabled, select Background and press Ctrl plus T. Load 16 key JPEG panorama. Let's create a simple scene for testing purposes. I am going to create a solid plane and place on it three Suzanne monkeys with different materials. Apply some gray color material to the object. Add Suzanne monkey. Press Ctrl plus 2 to add subdivision surface modifier. Right click and shade smooth. Rotate it and place it over the plane. Press Shift plus D to duplicate monkeys. Let's display render preview. Wow! Looks like the JPEG texture environment is producing nice shadows already. Don't be a fool, this is a default point light that we need to delete, to be able to test our fake HDRI map properly. Click, and now everything looks lifeless and dull. I am going to apply some simple materials to the monkeys. The middle one will get chrome metal. The left one glass, and the last one a default material.
Okay. Back to the world and shader editor. Let's add light path node. And mix shader node. Duplicate background and environment texture nodes, and reconnect them. Load fake HDRI map. Connect node with mix shader. Uses camera array as a mixing factor. Looks like we need to swap shaders, because we want 16 key JPEG to be visible for the camera only. Looks like fake tree is a bit too bright, so I'm going back to Photoshop, to paint my dummy son once again. This time with a darker color. After resaving file, I just need to reload my HDRI. I like to use auto reload add-on for this. If you don't like light from fake HDRI, you can always use only JPEG map, and add sunlight. You can easily synchronize the sun's position with 3 using sun position add-on, which comes bundled with Blender. To make shadows a bit softer, select sunlight and increase angle value. It's also a good idea to disable its ray visibility for glossy materials. You can find it in object properties. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Feel free to visit my website with HDRI maps and other 3D assets at hdrmaps.com. See you later. Bye.